All right, this is another one. Another attack. See what happened in Taraba State that has gotten various reactions on Twitter. All right, the news in detail. The federal government of Nigeria has have been trying its best to tackle insecurity in the country. Recently, 43 rice farmers were killed and the news have been trending. The federal government have expressed concern towards the recent killings in the country and they have vowed to protect the citizens of Nigeria. All right. Meanwhile, gunmen suspected to be Jokon militants have attacked to Lushra community Rafikada ward in the Wukari local government area of Taraba state, killing at least four persons who had just returned to their community based on the state government's directive. Those who survived the attack of the gunmen spoke with Sahara reporters. They said that many of the residents had returned to the community based on her directive of the state governor, Darius Ishaku, that normalcy had returned to the areas and that the security agency would ensure the protection of the lives and properties of the indigents. This is another one. Hmm. We have not even finished talking about the massacre in Bono. Another one is emerging. You can't imagine. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This is not funny at all. I mean at all. You see, this is how this will continue if care is not taken. And some people are even saying that hmm, the southerners should be prepared because these people are trying to capture the whole of north in no time so that they can you know, extend it. Someone has said that it's a lie. It won't happen. Hmm. I pray it does not happen. Yes, we pray it does not happen. Then if we don't want it to happen, we have to face it right now squarely. Or else, it's not what we are talking about. I tell you, like someone is saying that, in fact, I am tired of commenting on this kind of issue. I've been commenting. In fact, I've, I have not finished commenting on that of Bono. That now, this is another one. So what do we do? That is what Nigerians are saying right now. We are tired that in a country like this that we have a leader. Because some people will tell you there is no precedent. Okay, let's say in a country whereby we have leaders, we have governors. Maybe people will not start referring this country. They will not be putting it in the hands of governors now. Because they don't even know who to talk to in the presidency. Either there is a president or not. Nobody, nobody even understands again. We don't understand. So now they are saying, okay, let's be referring everything to the governors. Mm. So now to the governors. Every state has a governor. What are you people doing to support? In fact, so I say, what are you people doing to stop the killing in the north, to assist the north to stop this killing before it extends to the south? That is another one. Because as it stands right now, a lot of people have been commenting saying, ah, why now? Why is this like this? Why is this one like this? Ah, did not this northern and safe. Now, wow. God will punish them. God will do this. After then, after that, what happens another one will emerge so they are trying to tell you people that uh, not just they shout nothing they happen we go do what we want to do nothing they happen that's what they are telling people that we are not scared and if you take a very good look at what is happening you will discover that most of all these people all these insurgents you are seeing they have sponsors in the house they that's why that's why they have got to continue what they are doing without looking back
talking about the Bono massacre, the 43 rice farmers that were you know, beheaded by the so-called sect Boko Haram. We, we have not even finished talking about that one. Another one is emerging. For people that understand Yoruba. Can you imagine what is going on right now? So, another one in Taraba State. In fact, four killed. Okay? They are human beings. They are not animals. They are not cow. They are not, they are not goats. Blood run in their bodies. Just like you and I. They just ended these ones too. Just like that. And we have chief of army staff. We have, in fact, all the chief of staffs doing nothing. They have people under them they can control that. Oh yeah, you mount this place, mount this place, but they are not ready to do that. Simply because they are making money in the security aspect. They will send them money for security. Yes, money for security, money for security. Billions of naira. In the end, nothing is done. They will tell you, yeah, the, it was because the you no know, money sent was not enough. There are some things we need to carry out again. So we are strategizing. We need more billions. They will send money to them. So people like that, you expect that they will want this to end. No wonder the speaker, the Senate have said it that these old fools, mm, that is what they are calling them now. That they are just figureheads, they should resign. Summoning Buhari to to sack all of them that they have overstayed. Not because they have they have been there for a long time. That's not the issue. That's not the reason why they want. They are saying they should sack them, but because they are not performing. Mm. Leave overstay. Leave that word overstay aside. These people have not performed. Yes. And now they have to go. Yes, these people have to go because they are the one causing nuisance. As it is, they don't even want it to stop. And that is the problem. That is why these sects will just come. They will misbehave. Quack, quack, quack. They will go with it. After, after like two, three days, you will see them in another state. They will do what they have to do. And this thing is still ravaging in the north. Hmm. And Nigerians are watching. And you don't know that their strategy is, let's finish with the north and enter the other region. And everybody is watching. Ah, the northerners, they're too weak, they're too weak. On our way, on no weak. Wait on our don't do. Wait on our don't do. A lot have been said so far on this one. And um, people will still, you know, tell their minds, they will tell you that see you, as far as this thing is concerned we are tired we are tired, who is in Asura Buhari must go, this is the now out, every now and then must go no action and they've forgotten that most of the people that are with Buhari in that place they all know who is in, the, in Asura they know who they there they have all been bribed. Some of them will say, ah, come on, this 2023 20, self. They make we come on. Make we come in. So that the No secrets, no go leak. But Nigerians have known what is going on already. That is why they were they are just join us. When they tell you that ah, they are going to summon Buhari, you people will not like, ah, yes, they are working. Of which them and Buhari sit down, they arrange as they want to. I want to. Uh, they want to, you no, know, convince. I be confused now. To dribble now, on to say we are working. Who is in Hassle Rock? That has been the question. Somebody has even said that. Okay, fine. They have been accusing this man that he's not the one. He's not the one. Then why can't this man come out now? If he's actually, if, if he's actually the person, let him come out and. And caution everybody for our life. Which kind of thing be that one? He didn't come out. Mm, he come out. You see him. Who will tell? 
who is challenge and people are still everybody everybody is maintaining the country is going down on a daily basis well that is it all my people on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this one and remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not done so thanks and god bless